Welcome back to Master in Programming. In today's episode, I will show you something that I think is very needed in Wix, and that is how to actually refresh the page or how to reload the page once a user logs in. Now, in this example here, you can see why this is a big problem, why it's not there in Wix automatically. And that is that right now, I have this forum page covered, as you can see. And in order to be able to access this information or these forums, what you need to do is you actually need to log in. But the issue is, and I'll show you right now, if I actually go ahead and log in, so I'm logging in with a member, you can see that the page doesn't refresh. Nothing actually happens. I'm logged in, but I still can't access it. And it's only when the user manually refreshes the page, just like this, that you have it reloaded and now can be accessible. But that's not what we really want. We want it to automatically refresh the page and do some actions. If you realize there was a bar at the top here that had login and join and that also remained even after the user logged in. So what do we actually do in order to remove that? Well, that's the first thing we're going to be doing is we're actually going to log out. There we go. And what we want to do is that once the user logs in, A, we want to hide this automatically and we also want to remove this blockage that's blocking us from basically accessing this form. Let's go back to our editor where we have our code and just really quickly you see here the page that I created and I'll explain the code here just really quickly. So what I do here have, what I have here is that this page basically checks if the user is logged in, well it's going to do one thing, it's going to remove this bar and it's also going to remove this vector stopping non-members of actually clicking on the form. This code works and it's perfect, it's nice. But the only issue that happens is that this code is only executed once the page loads. Which means that if you load this page while you're not logged in, this code will run, it will check that the user is not logged in, it will check that the user doesn't have a pricing plan, and hence it will not actually show the stuff. Even if the user then logs in again, it will not actually change because it already ran it the first time. So what we need to do is we need to find a way to refresh this page once the user logs in. Luckily, I've already found out how to do this. Let's go back to the editor. And there's just a few things here that I want to confirm. You need, because I already have it here imported because I use it in other stuff. But you need to import Wix users. And you also need to import Wix locations. So go ahead and do that now. Basically, just I'm going to zoom in for you a little bit here import Wix users from Wix users and import Wix location from Wix location. Let's go ahead over here and I'm going to skip all the way till the last line and I'm going to type in Wix users dot on login. Oops, what the heck just happened on log in just like this. Inside we're going to open and close a bracket and I'm going to be passing in user equal sign right arrow open and close a zigzaggy bracket and inside of here basically some code is going to be executed once Ooh, actually i think i did a mistake here this bracket is meant to be over here like this once the user actually logs in this code inside of these two brackets will be executed so what you need to do is you need, or in my opinion, what I will be doing is I'll basically redirect the user to this page again. And this time, because the user would have been logged in, it will go over the code again and it will realize that the user is logged in and it will actually allow them to interact. So I will be saying Wix location dot to open and close a bracket and insert. oops. And inside of here, I will be adding the URL of whatever page I want to refresh. This is also in case you didn't know the way where you can manually navigate to a different page using code. Let's go ahead and publish this page. We're going to go back to our forums page, the one that we actually wanted. And let's obviously just make sure we refresh it so that we get the latest um, version of the website that we just published. And what I'll do now, you can see that I'm not logged in. I'm going to log in. And let's see if this actually works or not. The idea is that once I log in, boom, automatically two things happened. We got rid of that top bar that we wanted to, to get rid of because we now we're logged in. We don't need to see this. 
And we also got rid of that block that didn't allow us to actually interact with the form. And now I can fully interact with it. I can click on it and it will take me to the actual forums page. This was it for this tutorial. It's very important. It's very unfortunate that Wix actually doesn't have it included from the first place, but here you go. I hope this tutorial does help you. Have a good day.